Hello and welcome to another Cleave Tech video. So you might have seen my previous two videos where I unboxed my Revo slot Porsche from Pendle Slot. And after that, I went through some little first opinions on the body shell and the chassis. So today we're gonna to get down to some closer look at the chassis. So let's start with a couple of things that I've seen straight away. Now, the little mounts here, let's move the lead wires out of the way. These little mounts here that mount the pan section to the center section, at the front, you can see they move quite, quite freely. So this front section moves up and down in these mounts quite freely, like that. But the rear mounts seem to be binding up a little bit on these little brass nuts. So when I take it apart, I've got to see why do they bind up a little bit. Is, is the pan section slightly bent? Are the holes smaller in the back than they are in the front? I don't know. When we take it apart, we'll have a look at that. I've also noticed something odd in that if you look at this wheel here, this right hand wheel, it has two grub screws. But if you look everywhere else, there's a hole there for a grub screw, but only one grub screw in the gear. There's only one grub screw in the wheel that's by the gear. The front wheels, they only have one grub screw. So do I get a spare grub screw? Is that what it's for? Just in case you lose one, you get a spare grub screw? Maybe, but I've had a look in the box and they've not like fallen out in all the other places. It just doesn't seem to have them. So I assume that Revo Slot have been really nice and given you a spare grub screw in case you lose one. But you can buy a set of grub screws. The other thing I notice, this is quite nice and you've got a sliding motor bracket so you can adjust the gear mesh. I assume that's for if you wanted to use different pinions and spur gears on the car. But for the pendle slot rules, you have to use this gearing on the car. So I probably won't be needing to move the motor too much. The mesh feels quite nice as it is. The other thing that you might have heard me comment on on another video was I, one of my initial opinions. I looked at it and looked at, saw this tire or this wheel was a bit wobbly. Well, on closer inspection, I don't think it's the wheel that's out of true, but I will check it. I think it's more the way the tyre is sitting on that rim, and you can just see it there. If you look there, as I turn it round, you can see it's wobbling a little bit on the rim. So when I reset that and I true that up, that'll probably fix that problem. Um, it's been oiled. There is some lubricant around these pillar blocks, both front and rear. So I assume they have been lubricated at some point. Before I paint the body or do anything else with the body, I'm going to get the chassis sitting correctly. Then I'm going to look at um, how the body sits, whether it's sort of twisted, you know, how flat does it sit on the chassis. It should be OK because it's mounting on a plate that's that's able to float and move around. And there are those little rubber mounts in one of the little bags um, that I can use in this little bag here. There's these little little rubber mounts. I haven't even opened the bag yet, but we'll have a look. But I'll get all the chassis to move and sit correctly first before I look at the next stage and painting the body. So maybe you let me know in the comments as to what colour body shell I could do. I've got my own ideas, but let's see what ideas you come up with. Bearing in mind, I am not a body car painter. If you're liking this new venture from Cleave Tech, Please like the video, please subscribe, please comment. Uh, comment with any setup tips you've got. I'd like to learn them all because I've not really worked with these cars before. So let me know your setup tips from using these. Um, I'm going to be racing this at the Pendle Slot Racing Club. So their rules are pretty standard in that you can't do a lot really with the car. You can true the tyres, make things round, make things move as they should perhaps, but you can't really do a lot with the car. You've got to stick to Revo Slot parts. Um, and it's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. So let me know. You know. Let me know if you like what we're doing. And as I say, subscribe. Press the big Cleave Tech button at the end of this video. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, this is a new venture. It's really interesting and it's going to be a lot of fun. 